Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the difference between a sleeper cab and a day cab. So these are two what we call tractors. This is part of the tractor trailers, right? So another name for them is semi trucks. So there's pretty much two types of semi trucks out there. You're going to have sleepers and you're going to have day cabs. So sleepers, as you can tell by the name, that means that you can sleep inside of them. And then day cabs, by the name, they're built to be driving during the day itself. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the exact differences between each one of these things right over here. So let's talk about the sleeper. This is probably the most common truck out there because most drivers are driving either regional or over the road. Or even if you are driving local, a lot of drivers like this option as well because now it gives them the flexibility to travel longer distances. Because this sleeper right over here, if you can check it out, we're actually in the cab of one. And you can see the beds behind me. So some of them come with a single bed, some of them come with a, a, a double bed. And the other cool thing about these is you can trick them out. So you can put in a fridge, you can put in a TV, you can bring your PlayStation or Xbox, whatever with you. So you have your own kind of moving apartment, but you do not have a toilet. So you can bring a portable toilet if you like, or a big Gatorade bottle if you know what I'm talking about. So that being said, the main reason to have a sleeper is that the sleeper is bigger. It's usually built to carry more weight because the engine is more powerful since most of the time the sleepers are built to do a lot of a lot of miles going over the road from state to state to state to state. When we get to the day cabs, they are a little bit different. As you can see, they are much smaller. They do not have a sleeper in the back of it, which means they don't have a bed. And those cabs are built to actually uh, transport local deliveries, which means that you're not going to be sleeping inside this vehicle simply because it doesn't have the room for it. Usually these are built for local deliveries, which means the turning radius should be much tighter for you. So let's kind of show you the different examples. The bigger sleeper itself is going to take a lot longer to make a turn. So that means those tight turns that you're making on local deliveries, or maybe those alley docking maneuvers that you're going to have to do for an actual delivery itself, sleeper might not be the most comfortable with it. It's not doesn't mean it's impossible, but that's why a lot of companies do choose to use day cabs, especially for things like containers and local deliveries like restaurants and stuff like that, simply because of the tight spaces that they're going to have to go through. There are day cabs in many different sizes. The day cab can be just as powerful as the sleeper when it comes to the engine itself. But most of the time when it comes to day cabs, you can reduce the amount of power needed simply because you're doing local deliveries and you're making those tight kind of turns, right? Here at Driving Academy, we actually train in day cabs, for instance, and we go one step further, which is a single axle day cab. Now, why do we do that? One, we're in the state of New Jersey, which means we're limited in space. Space is super, super important, which means the more, the bigger the vehicle and the more axles you have of the vehicle, the longer it takes this vehicle to turn in the training yard itself. So because we don't have unlimited space in our yard, we like to reduce the amount of space that we need altogether. Second thing is it's a little bit easier to learn how to drive in a single axle vehicle versus a double axle vehicle. The mechanics and everything are the same, but just the timing and the reaction time is much quicker. To give you an example, when you have two axles in the back of your vehicle itself, when you're backing up and turning the wheel to the right, it's going to take a little bit of time before it can actually start reacting behind there simply because you have more tires to turn, right? So in a single axle vehicle, you're actually able to see that reaction much quicker, which means that you actually get to learn your maneuver much faster. So those are one of the trade secrets that we have here. And if you are interested in learning more about how to get a CDL license, and we can actually guarantee that you walk away with a CDL license, you want to give us a call, 908-525-3609, or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. However, if you're in the process of purchasing a CDL, um, however, if you're in the process of purchasing a truck, for instance, you have to decide between a sleeper and a day cab. My main question for you is, what are you looking to do? Are you looking to go over the road? Or are you looking to stay local and have no other option, right? Because even if you are looking to stay local to start, but you want the option of saying, hey, um, all of a sudden something goes crazy. A few years back, people out of Texas were making $5,000 from here to Texas, right? And all of a sudden, if you had a day cab, you probably couldn't do that run because where are you going to sleep? So if you have a sleeper and you don't really know what the future is going to look like, at least the sleeper is versatile enough where you can do local deliveries, but you can also go over the road if you needed to as well. And they actually make smaller, uh, smaller nose sleepers. And then when it comes to your local deliveries, you can turn and maneuver wherever you need to go. It does not matter the size of the dock itself, right? 
So if you are interested in getting a CDL license or if you're interested in becoming an owner operator, we can help you out either way. Give us a call 908-525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks. Have a fantastic day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.